Okay, now that you understand what a WebQuest is, now we need to use a platform that we can uh, build one on. So we're going to use uh, Weebly.com uh, just because it's a, a pretty simple, intuitive web design. Uh, it's 2.0, so it's packaged all online. You don't have to download any components. So we're going to use that just to uh, create some simple pages with links in them. So if you already got a chance and looked at my stuff, um, you see that we have some elements like pictures. Um, I can show you how to build the next button. But I've used headings that are fairly familiar from the process. So the introduction, we're placing students into a role. The ODE standards met by the WebQuest uh, are listed. And we've got a more, a little more of a graphic page defining the process that students are supposed to go through. So you direct, uh, direct the explanation uh, to them, and you tell them exactly what they're supposed to do, where they're supposed to go. You make sure the links all work, link out, which they do. Assessment. We make sure that we have a link that is housed on RubyStar with a multi-stage uh, rubric, so several different levels, and that the assessment is transparent. And then a, a conclusion, so if they want to do some further stuff, uh, it gives them the opportunity to, to delve in a little bit further into what genealogy or historical research is. All right, so how do we do this? Well, number one is if you go to weebly.com, uh, you're going to go to the main page because you probably don't have one yet. So it'll look like this. Uh, so you just sign up for free and you can actually use your Google credentials uh, that are attached to your AU account. I'm just going to log in. Uh, in fact, you might be able to log in with your Google credentials that way. I'm going to add a new site so you know exactly the process from the from the bottom up. So I'm going to hit site. We're just going to use something simple. So the first part here, I'm going to show you how to change existing structure and then we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to go down to where we've got basically a small head frame uh, up top here. So we've got this thing here. So you can choose your color uh, template, which really doesn't change too much. It's basically a line there. I'm going to hit choose. It's going to migrate in so we actually have the editing page. Then you're going to choose a domain. Please choose a domain that's uh, got something to do with you. So, for instance, go, can't use periods. I'm going to do Dr. Ellis. I'll hit continue. Okay, once we're in there, uh, I have the possibility of building onto the site. So, for instance, here add site text or add the text. Um, I can put the topic. My site, I can click in there and put in uh, WebQuest. So these will stay throughout, so it's good because they're kind of got permits. If I hover over these, uh, this is great if you're doing marketing and stuff, you want to push out your Facebook group um, or other types of uh, feeds. But we're just going to drop all those down and then uh, just you can use your AU email there. I'll click off of it, you'll see that if I go back over, it takes me there. Um, so we can navigate between pages like this. Okay, so on the first page here, uh, the headline, I can type something in for this is your quest. Dot, dot, dot. And then we can update some text, etc., describing what kind of role the student's going to be in. Okay? If I need to change an image, all I have to do is hit edit image, add an image. I can upload it from my desktop, so I have tons of genealogy pictures. Um, I'll just do the screenshot one. Oh, 
right, then we hit OK. And then it should pop in. Let's go hit save. If I want to save it to this page only, we can save it to this page only. Okay, then it becomes live. Uh, we can drag further elements to the bottom, so if I wanted to drag uh, some kind of titling, probably not titling, but sometimes some type of text for further directions, I could. If I want to hit pages at this point, I can rename, say, the about page to be ODE standard. If I want to knock out a page, I can uh, or rechange re like the order of which they're in. I can do that. Contact. If I want to put contact in there, instead of that, I put uh, process. And then we'll add a couple more. So standard page. Assessment. And then I'll add a conclusion. Okay, this gives me a layer of choice. So if I put like no header, if I don't put anything on there, go back to save and edit, you'll see that uh, all of them line up here. So now I'm on this conclusion page. If I wanted to, I can just drag the text element here. Okay, so I can write in the conclusion, you have just completed Dot, 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 just like I did in my other one. Let's say we wanted to add an image in there. You can drag an image in. That means it'll wrap around the text, like the text will wrap around the image. If I click on that, upload a photo. And we'll do anything. So we can upload that. Way too big. You click on the corner, drag it towards its center. And again, you have the text wrapped around it. Uh, when we go to finish this thing, we hit publish. Okay, leave it that way, as whatever you named it initially. Hit continue. Select your website type. You can select education and class project. Continue. Don't worry about that. Click on the link that is the Weebly link. And there's the stuff. Copy that link, go back into Angel, go to Milestones, go to Accessible Web Quest, and then you will actually just put that in there, whatever the one is, a little message there. And then you'll hit Submit.